In this video, we're gonna show you how to pour a small concrete retaining wall and also a little walkway with a step. These are the forms that we set up a few days ago. This is about an 18 inch tall concrete retaining wall in the front of the house of our customer. And this is the little walkway with a step down that leads to the street. And uh, this is on the left side. It kind of uh, it has a little return at an angle that follows the driveway edge. So this uh, inside, we have the rebar that you see right there. We have the rebar every uh, 48 inches verticals. And then we have the horizontals. So right here, we're starting to pour the walkway. Now this concrete, it has color added to the mix. It's like a dark gray color. So we start by pouring it straight from the truck uh, right into there. And then we start screeding. So this is the little wood board. Uh, it's, we're using that as our street. And that is designed so that way we can pull the concrete from one, uh, one edge of the form board to the other edge. And that makes sure that we get a nice um, even surface so it follows the, uh, the form. And right here, uh, we're also getting our hand float and we're floating the edges also if we have any concrete that's needed we'll put it in there so there you see you know straight from the concrete truck the nice thing you know they're able to just give us a little bit as we need so not too much not too little and that's pretty much the process you know we just start pouring the concrete we move it around there with our hand floats make sure that everything is filled in we have a nice um level and then we do the screed and then from here we're also pouring this this uh, little retaining wall now the wall it's not the concrete it's not going to go all the way to the top of where you see the forms it's actually gonna you see how there it's a little lower we have some nails um every like so far apart and the nails is kind of like our guide that that will give us the surface um level so we're just kind of, uh, you know, taking the truck little by little. We're just pouring, um, just, you know, pulling it in there as we need it. And then we're just guiding the truck, telling him, you know, to move forward. And, you know, that's kind of the process right there. And then we have one guy behind, you know, hitting the, the side of the form board with a hammer. Uh, that helps to uh, make sure that the concrete settles and fills in in all the areas. Um, you can also use a vibrator that also does the work. In this case, I mean, this worked out pretty good for us. So one thing that we do right away is we have our hand float right there. We start floating the surface. Uh, one of our workers there, he's he's keeping an eye on all of the little nails that I mentioned. Um, and, and he's following the level with his float and just floating all of the surface of the concrete retaining wall. So we're going to do this on the entire area. We have a few of our workers doing that right here. Um, they're also going to get like a little screed board. They're going to put it in there and they're going to screed it, you know, from one side to the other. Just making sure that we have a nice level uh, top surface of the wall. And then right here, uh, you know, we're starting working on the, the walkway and the steps. Uh, one other thing that we do right away is the edge. So that's where we have our little edging tool right there. And you see he's getting all of the concrete that kind of over poured onto the top of the form so we basically are pressing in that um, edging tool all along the um, along the form board and we're creating a, a defined edge and this is another tool that we use right away this is our joint tool it, it helps us create the joints uh, we're going to have a couple joints throughout the walkway and that's meant to help control the cracks and then um, we have our trial tool right there so we're going ahead and, and smoothing out the concrete on the surface, just uh, giving it a pass on all of the area. And then that's our joint tool right there. We're, you know, pressing that into the concrete. It has a little divot in the center. And see, that helps create the, the joint. Um, 
and uh, since you know concrete when it dries it expands and all that it, it tends to crack so this is why we have to have these joints ever so often so that way it creates like a weak spot in the concrete and the concrete will crack right there so uh, and then you know we have our trowel right there we're just going over all of the surface making sure that everything is kind of smoothened out today is gonna be a pretty hot day I think it was gonna be like around um, like low 90s so we're, we're doing all of this uh, right away um, you know running the edger tool a few times throughout the process running the um, the joint tool again and and just making sure everything's ready the step that's a very important thing as well you know we remove some of the forms that are in the way and we just start working the surface of the step as you can tell he has a little level right there so he's checking the the level of the step making sure that it has a little bit of slope uh, it always has to have like a little bit of slope you know so that the water any water that goes on the step will go like out you know towards the street basically and uh, so he has his little hand float right there, little tools, the edger tool, working the edges as well. Uh, right here, you know, we have our mag float. We're just, uh, you know, floating the surface, um, just getting it to the consistency that we need, um, you know, running our joint tool again. So these are things that we do repeated throughout the, the process. Also, one thing that we do on the retaining wall that you have to do uh, pretty much um, you know after we pour is the edger so we waited about maybe you know 20 minutes or so after we poured and then and then right away you know we start running our edger tool right there uh and and you i don't know if you can tell right here very good but when i was looking at it in person it was it was creating a really nice edge actually you can see right there you see how it's kind of uh right along where the form it's it's giving it a nice edge there on the top so and then uh we're gonna let it kind of sit settle there um not too long i would say maybe a total of 45 minutes after we poured so that way it kind of sets in and then we're going to remove the front face of the wall um all along there so we can work the 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 surface of the front the face of the wall So we're starting to do the same process that we did on the walkway 
we have our hand floats we have our edger tool just working all of the edges there you see he's he's gliding that edger tool from one point all the way to the other he has his trowel right there so he's giving it that nice smooth finish this is after so the first thing that you know we start working the the concrete filling it in with our hand float and everything just prepping it and then afterwards you know we have this hand trowel that we just trowel the surface um, of all of the area that gives us a nice um, smooth finish and so this is kind of the process we start removing the forms on one end then we have the middle part right here he's working with the flow filling in the little uh you know edge the little um, honeycomb areas or whatever just filling it in smoothing it out uh, like like right there and then after that you know we have our other gentleman right here giving the, the edger tool giving it the nice finishing touches and uh that's pretty much the process of how we work the retaining wall this is how it ends it's looking right here after we already worked the edge you see right there it's it's got a nice uh crisp um edge all the way through and then we have the the front face of the wall has a nice trowel finish so we're going to continue that process throughout uh as well as working the steps making sure that everything is where it needs to be so that's pretty much the process uh right here we're just giving it the final details on the steps and then he has that little um hand brush right there just giving it the brush strokes on all of the faces of the steps on the surface on the sides and everything um, all of this concrete uh, the walkway and the steps is broom finish the rest of the wall is like a trowel finish so that's pretty much uh, the end result right there we're going to come back the following day to remove the backside forms clean up the project and we're pretty much completed with this work so we really hope you like this video and uh, please consider subscribing to our youtube channel we're going to be uploading a lot of different content of all of the pours and different work that we do. May God bless you and we'll see you on the next video.